Hello friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Michaela, and I make adult coloring and diamond painting videos here on this channel. And today I have a color and chat video for you. And I asked you guys on my community tab if you guys wanted to see me color in 50 festive theme miniatures by Camelia Angelkova, or, and I'll just pull it out quick since I have it, um, the Annie Day. Soft Living Coloring Book by Morgan O'Brien, and 50 Festive Minis is currently winning, kind of by a lot, so I have a feeling this will stay winning, but um, today I will be doing a fun little color and chat, catching you guys up on life, and I guess just like some potential future channel plans, and just like some fun, like life updates, you know? Um, but today we will be coloring this page right here of the cute little animal, what is this, like a little little fox like it gives fox vibes with the ears and everything but if you've been around my channel for any length of time you do know that I am not great with um <laughs> not great with my animals but I have my Starbucks drink right here already I don't know why I did that so aggressively I probably should not have done that because the potential for the drink to just spill all over the page was very high and I don't know why I did that but um anyways I hope you guys enjoy this color and chat video and let's get right on into it okay Okay, so I have a lot I have notes on that I want to talk about, um, but I'm going to go ahead and just get started. Basically, I, this entire time, I'm just going to be using my Ohuhu alcohol markers, a mix of like the normal like fine tip and chisel tip and the brush tip and nizzle, 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 the nizzle tip, the brush tip and the chisel. I guess I wanted to say nib but it came out nizzle. Um, but anyways, that's kind of what I'm using. I don't know how far I'll get in this page while we chat, but um, I'm gonna go ahead and just start coloring in the eyes. You know, it's crazy that I'm actually coloring a coloring book that I received yesterday because I feel like lately I just have not been coloring as much. This entire year has just kind of been like one big coloring slump for me and I'm like really ready to like get back into it. Um, I think diamond painting just took such a, like, big role in, like, in my, like, crafting journey, if you will, and I don't know, it just, like, made coloring go on the back burner, if you know what I mean. Um, but anyways, hi guys, how is everybody doing? Okay, yeah, that definitely is where that should go. I hope everyone is doing really, really well. I have missed doing color and chat videos. I feel like I haven't done one in a minute. Um, okay. The issue with color and chats versus whippin' chats is that at least with whippin' chats, it's like, it's diamond painting, so you like kind of know exactly what you're doing the entire time, but with color and chats, I am always a little stuck because you gotta figure out your own colors. Dang coloring books. <laughs> um, could be doing a color by number and I'm not. Um, I think I'm gonna start by doing the leaves because that seems like the most straightforward. I think I'm gonna go with 42, um, which you guys can't even like. <laughs> can't even see my little color swatch thing, but I was just looking at this little swatch chart, but I'm just going to pull up my phone quick because I just want to, um, let's see. Okay. Okay. I guess I'll just like talk, you guys. It's been a minute. It's been a minute since I've done a color and chat. And honestly, it's been a minute since I've colored and I feel like it's been a minute since I uploaded. Obviously, I have been like uploading but um, I feel like it's been pretty inconsistent like this entire year. I don't know you guys, but I am happy that I'm feeling like more in the groove to be like coloring and doing and like filming. Um, I just, you know, I just am glad about that. Also, I'm not sure the thin tip is necessarily what I wanna be using right now because that's a little bit Hmm, that takes a little long. I just don't want to go outside the lines, but that's okay. Basically, I am kind of thinking, kind of a little bit inspired by the diamond painting community. I feel like there are a lot of diamond painting YouTubers that upload whipping chats like weekly to kind of catch you guys up on life. Um, I really like that idea. Um, from the standpoint of like, I can just like sit and color or diamond paint and just like catch you guys up because I feel like there is always something 
that I like want to talk about but then like you know sometimes too much time has passed and it's like I don't remember anymore that I wanted to talk about it or just like I don't know I like I don't know if that makes sense but I've seen a few diamond painters like do whip and chats every week and I'm like and I'm sure some color tubers do it also I just don't have not really caught on to that but um no there actually definitely are um the more I'm thinking about it but um I think that could be kind of fun to try to get into the habit of doing. Um, I'm gonna try in November every week, every Monday to upload a either color and chat or whip and chat. I'm thinking about just going back and forth between color and chat and then whip and chat. Um, so this week is obviously coloring and then next week Monday I'll upload a diamond paint and chat video. Um, so that way we get a nice little mix, change of pace. I'm not just like doing the same thing every week. Um, and yeah, I just think that would be fun. Um, but you guys, this week was, this week was wild. Let me tell you. Um, first of all, so Tuesday, Tuesday was an office day for me and, um, Tuesday was Halloween and tell me why Wisconsin weather is wild. I don't know if anyone that lives in the Midwest also had this uh, like weather. I know parts of Illinois had some snow, mostly the parts I was in, um, but you guys, it was like the most wild drive home of my existence. It felt like I was going through a snow globe and I feel like that's not safe. Um, I carpool to the office and like we obviously like made it and it was fine. I just like, it was, like really one of the most wild experiences. Um, the weather was just not great on Tuesday. And um, I also want to apologize if you guys, actually it's really hard to see. I probably just pointed attention to it, but these two fingers have purple dye on them because I, uh, I colored my hair yesterday, but I did not color it. But it's like, if you touch it, it like bleeds. Um, but anyways, going back to the story, um, it was just like so, snowy and like it was so weird too because like the snow wasn't really like sticking it kind of was but like I don't know it was just like really it was just like wild and I don't think I could have driven through it especially not highway by the time we made it back to um where my car was I was able to drive home and like the roads were fine and the snow was not blowing around anymore. I think that's really what it was at the end of the day was the snow was blowing everywhere and it was really, really weird. Um, I don't even think weird is the word I want to use to describe it, but it's what I'm going to use. Um, yeah, thoroughly was just like, <laughs> it was just crazy, but, um, yeah, so I hope other people, if you guys got very similar weather, that everyone stayed safe on Tuesday. Um, also, it's it's Wisconsin. It just felt really early to be getting snow. Um, but now you look outside and it just felt like a dream because there is literally nothing on the ground anymore. So, did it happen? I don't know. You, you couldn't convince me that it happened. Maybe it was all just a dream. I don't know. <laughs> but um, it was just, it was crazy. It was really crazy. And I just wanted to talk about it because I don't know. <laughs> that's what I'm here for, to talk about the crazy things that happened. Um, but yeah, that's something I wanted to touch on was the weather on Tuesday it was wild. Um, what else do I have in my phone? I took notes because I didn't want to forget because clearly I like, forget everything oh my gosh monday night you guys i started the john stamos memoir um i'm trying to think of what the name of it is i can never remember what the name of it is but um i went to barnes and noble over the weekend and like last weekend and purchased it which i don't normally purchase memoirs because I prefer to listen to them on audio and I won't pay for an audiobook like that. I'll just get through the library. But I did. I did buy the hardcover version of John Stamos's memoir 
because I was just in a silly goofy mood and just decided to purchase it and I started it and I really like it so far. I just haven't picked it up since. I feel like I'm in yet another reading slump because literally nothing is ever new with that and I feel like I'm either speed reading through books or I am in a total slump for like weeks on end. So I'm just in the slump right now and it's just it's a me problem but um yeah I started the memoir and it is really good so far and I'm hoping tonight I can pick it back up again I just you know haven't <laughs> haven't picked it back up since um yeah I think I started it Monday night and it's Sunday right now so it's been about a week since I picked it up but it's okay things happen and I own it so it's fine um, if it was a library book I'd be more disappointed in myself I do tend to get like a little disappointed when um, I start a library book and then like it but don't finish it before I have to return it that I do get a little bit like annoyed at myself for um, but that happened with a different book you know just a week ago but that's fine too oh you guys my life is fun um but yeah, I, I do recommend the the John Stamos memoir. Um, I honestly bet it's even better on audio. Um, I'm trying to think if I took it off of hold on audio or if I still have it on hold. Um, I might have actually taken it off, but yeah, it's super good so far. Hopefully I can finish it or at least continue it soon, not even finish it soon, just continue it soon. Um, but I guess for those of you who are unaware, I don't know how often I even talk about this. Um, I've been re-watching Full House and listening to the How Rude Tanneritos, I think that's what it's called, podcast hosted by Jodie Sweetin and Andrea Barber. Um, and there was another um, Full House podcast called Full House Rewind um, that was only one or two episodes before the SAG AFTRA strike. SAG AFTRA strike. Oh my goodness. Um, ended up, I guess, kind of, I'm gonna call it sh shutting it down, maybe putting a pause on it's the better word. Um, and that has not come back yet, but the, you know, I, I should really look into it more. I don't know exactly what, like, the, um, rules are where some podcasts can keep going and others can't. Um, because I guess why was the, um, How Rude Tanneritos one able to keep going and, um, not the other one? Um, uh, maybe it's, like, who's producing it might have something to do with it. And that might be the case because the Glee podcast, the, um, and that's what you really missed is what it's called. Um, that one is still going on also and I think they're produced by the same company. Um, so that might have something to do with it, actually, the more I think about it. But, um, I'm just really hoping, <laughs> I'm really hoping it comes back soon. I just miss having, I love podcasts. I love the rewatch podcasts. Um, and the weirdest part is, is that the Wizards of Waverly pod, podcast, which is, um, the Wizards of Waverly Place rewatch podcast, um, is actually coming back tomorrow, which is today for you guys that are watching this. Um, but... Yeah, that podcast, I think, like, there ended up being some exceptions, like, where some podcasts and things like that can keep going. Like, I, I don't exactly, I don't, I don't know really much about why certain, like, places, or not places, what am I saying? Like, certain, um, I guess, like, podcasts and things like that can keep going, others can't. I don't really know too much about it. Um, if you guys know more about it, let me know in the comments, because I honestly have no idea. But, um... Okay, anyways, I think I want to color in the scarf, and I think I'm going to start with, like, a really dark gray, and then we're going to do stripes with a dark gray and something else, but I'm going to go neutral gray 7, I think, if I can find it right here. Okay, um, I'm going to put the green back, but that was, like, a very long-winded way of saying that, um... I love how it started out with the John Stamos memoir and went into podcasts because I was like, I actually wasn't planning on talking about that. <laughs> um, oh no, I thought this uh, tip would be like a little bit more squishy and it's not, it's more like stiff. Oh no, okay. Finish coloring in this section. And then, okay, what else do I have notes of? Um, 
Oh, okay. Um, well, first of all, I'll start with this. I, like I mentioned earlier, have purple hair dye all over my fingers because I got my hair highlighted yesterday. Um, I ended up going with purple highlights and I thought they were going to be a little bit more like, um, darker than how they turned out, but I'm in love with the color. It's so pretty. Definitely check out my Instagram if you want to see, um, a picture of it. But, um, yeah, they turned out really, really pretty, and I just wanted to mention that I did that this weekend, um, and it was a good time, and was able to also get my hair cut, which I feel like was much needed, to be honest. I haven't gotten a good trim in probably a year, and it was, you could tell, and it was much overdue, so. Also, just, like, something really random that I, um, that I just thought of. And the only reason I thought of it is because it's 4.30 and the sun is down. <laughs> um, daylight savings was last night and I'm really sad about it because now the sun is going to be setting at like 4.30 and that is just, that is just a crime. Um, I don't like it. Listen, I know there are benefits to daylight savings and all that jazz, but... I don't really like when it gets dark at 4.30. And I feel like Wisconsin gets it really bad because, like, I feel like some places the sun is still up until, like, 5, 5.30 with daylight savings. And Wisconsin's like, mm, no, actually, we're gonna shut you down at 4.30. And it's like, oh, gee, thanks. Um, so, yeah, it's just, like, really dark out already and I don't like it. And I'm also trying to find my purple because I think I'm gonna make the rest of the scarf a purple because why not? Um, but... Yeah, I don't like daylight savings very much from that aspect, but we did get an extra hour of sleep last night, which I'm not sure I even really slept in necessarily. Like, I don't know. I feel like I would have woken up at the same time anyways. Um, why not give us daylight savings on like a day where like I'm working the next day where like an extra hour of sleep could benefit? Um, I'm sure it benefited some people, but... It just was another another Sunday morning for me, but yeah, daylight savings was yesterday and huh, not sure how I feel, but um, anyways, going into the next point I wanted to talk about is that, and I kind of mentioned this already, that I want to get more into like a consistent uploading schedule again. I know I go back and forth, but I think I'm the most... Um, productive with my channel when I am uploading on a pretty consistent schedule. Um, like I said, for the month of November, I'm going to give uploading like a color and chat or a whip and chat once a week a try. Um, if I find that it's too much, I might, you know, maybe do twice a month or something like that in the future. Um, but I do want to give it a try this month just to, just to kind of see. Also, if I do this purple, this is going to blend. If I do it brown, or like the gray, this is going to blend. That was, hmm, that was silly. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I think the purple is going to look better. Or do we do one of each? No, I don't think we should do one of each. Um, we're going to do gray, I guess. Um, but anyways, what was I even saying? I feel like I'm more productive with my YouTube channel when, um, actually we're going to use the other side. <laughs> I feel like I'm more productive with my YouTube channel when I upload, um, on a schedule. I don't know. I know I go back and forth on it a lot, but like, I don't know. I just feel like I'm more consistent that way and it's more fun for me that way, I think. And I don't know. I don't know. But um, we're going to give it a go. We're going to give it a go for the month. I have some exciting videos planned for this month. And I hope you guys are excited about that. Um, the plan is to um, is to upload an up updated diamond painting stash video, which I'm really excited about doing. Um, I uploaded my first diamond painting stash video, I think, back in March. And I've been wanting to do an updated one since. And then I'll do one, like, every year, probably. Um, but I am just really excited about, um, about that. So that is in the plans for the month. Um, what do I want to color next? How is this video also already 20 minutes long? Um, let's see. Hmm. There is literally no way I'm coloring this whole page on camera. Um, I think, 
I don't know what kind of flowers these are like meant to be if they're meant to be like anything specifically um let's see let's do maybe I'll do 31 and 21 yeah 31 and 21 I think 21 is gonna be the middle color for all of them um I have no idea where I was going with my statement oh no I feel like I lost track of all thoughts um shoot what was I even talking about um oh uploading diamond painting stash video I'm excited about that um what else what else what else um Ooh, my um video that I want to also update once a year is uploading like an all like a, a video basically set to music of a flip through of all of the Hatchet Hero Disney color by number books in one video. Um, so basically everything that's released up until the end of this year, which I kind of think they're done for the year. I don't know that for a fact, but um, I'm going to upload and have in one video and then each year after. I think I'm gonna like upload a flip through of just the books that were added in the year. Um, I'll still do like talkative flips of all the new books as they come out. But I just think this is, um, I think this will be nice for people to be able to see all the books in one spot. I think, I think that's a good idea. <laughs> So yeah, that's in the plans for this month. Um, and I also really, 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 and I'm really excited about this. How many reallys can I use? Also, I think I'm gonna use this brown in his eyes. Yeah, okay. Um, I'm also really excited because the plan for either this month or next month is to bring back, and for those of you who are new, I had a series on my channel called Coloring Community Chat where basically I would chat with different colorists, um, so like color tubers and artists in the coloring book um, community. I was thinking industry and I'm like, industry is not the right word, community. And um, I want to bring that back. I stopped doing it in, um, I think like the end of 21. So at like the end of 2021, I stopped doing it and um, I wanna bring it back. I think it would be really fun, but there's a little twist that I want to add to it. And before I tell you guys that twist, I'm just trying to find some colors I can use. Um, I'll go with 26, I guess. 26 seems good. Um, okay. I want to, I'm going to kind of do a rebrand with the coloring community chat because I am no longer just interested in talking to the coloring community. It sounded so bad out loud. I am still very much interested in talking to people from the coloring community. I am, however, also interested in talking to people in the diamond painting community and interviewing people from um, diamond painting YouTube, as well as artists that like license with Diamond Art Club, Dreamer Designs, things like that. I think that would be really fun. And I think that just opens a whole new world of people that we can talk to and get to know better in the community. Um, so I hope you guys are ready for that. I don't currently have any guests planned, but I have messaged a few people. Um, so hopefully we can bring that back this month. I'm really, really, really hoping it works out. Um, hopefully someone will respond to my message. Um, but so keep your eyes peeled for that. I think it'll be really fun. Um, when it will come back, I think, I definitely think it is going to come back. It's just a matter of when, um, but I am very excited about it. So I did want to mention that as well. Um, Okay, let me take a look at my notes and just see what else. Wow, okay, I guess I like talked about everything I wanted to. So we'll just color for like a little bit longer and then call it good. Maybe I'll work on the door here. It'll do like a nice little brown door because, you know, doors in my brain can't be anything other than brown, I guess. Um, I think I'm going to go with E170 and color in the door. But yeah, I hope you guys are excited about that little update with the coloring community chat, coloring community chat kind of rebranding it. Um, I think that could be really fun and just bring in like more people that I feel like, you know, also enjoy like other crafts, you know? 
Um, and plus my channel now is more like diamond painting and coloring. So I think it's just a good opportunity to talk to people in the other community, you know? Because we're all one big, all one big community, really. One big crafting community. So I don't even know where I'm going with this at this point. Oh boy. I don't know what delusional world my brain was thinking that I would even think about getting this one done on camera unless I was coloring for like two hours apparently um but this color is also like not happy with me it's like kind of dying on me oh no oh no okay hopefully it oh god that was so messy of me sometimes I'm just so messy when I color and it's like why why did I do that oh boy okay we're just gonna we're just gonna keep going you know what markers I really, really, really want, but I, I cannot find them on Amazon in the size I want, um, is the Ohuhu markers that are, that are these markers, except they're, one side is the brush and one side is the fine. I think that's my personal perfect medium, and for some reason, I was able to find them at one point, but then, um, I like didn't buy them because they were kind of expensive and I'm like okay like maybe there'll be like a Black Friday deal or something and now I just can't find them in the big set and I'm like that's awesome um, because I really want them because I think that's like I really do like the fine tip for some things and I like the brush tip for others and I don't find myself using the chisel unless I like really need to and I feel like I would just prefer to have have one set of markers that are you know the the um brush and the fine so i don't know <laughs> i don't know what's up with that but um hopefully they'll show back up also i'm gonna flip this this way because okay sure sure we'll just go with this but I hope that everyone's been doing well. Um, I'm excited to get back into the swing of things with you guys. And this is one of my favorite time of years to be filming videos. I don't know what it is. Um, but just another quick thing that um, my third YouTube anniversary is this month on the 18th, which is insane. I I don't understand how I have been making videos for three years. Um, my channel started off as like a, I want to like vlog my life because I had like just gotten a new job and boy has my life changed since then. Um, not like particularly because of YouTube, but just like it has changed so much since. But um, yeah, it's just really crazy how how much like life is different from three years ago and I'm sure I'll talk more about it in like a different video but I just can't believe that's coming up but okay I know this is a really 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 weird place to stop on this page but I am gonna stop this video here um since we're already almost at half an hour but thank you guys so much for watching this video I hope you guys enjoyed it I know it was a little chaotic but I do really appreciate you guys watching if you did enjoy it make sure to give it a thumbs up hit that subscribe button down below if you're not already and I will catch you in my next video bye guys